Everybody is going to lie. Dude commenting on the video, oh, you, bro, how many motherfuckers you know that don't lie? Everybody gonna lie. Why are we trying to hold motherfuckers to stand? Why, bro? Like, Lex did act, Lex asked me to see if we passed that point. Biden is the worst president. <laughs> All right. Not the courage to run for president. It's not easy, but you have, and you know, the same people as I do, there are a lot of people that would like to run for president that are very, very successful in business, but they don't have the guts to do it. And they have to give... So you he's like, yo, it's a lot of people that want to run for president, but they don't got the guts to do it. It'd be a lot of scoop. All right, look, what do we all know happens if you run for president? All, whatever dirt, they gonna get to dig in and don't, you gotta be really strong to stand up there and be like, unless you don't got nothing going on, like, and if you don't got nothing going on, motherfuckers will find something. But you gonna get scrutinized, you gonna get criticized. And it's a tough job. And you gonna be hated one way or the other. Somebody going to hate you. You can't make everybody happy. So think about all these places that Trump is going to. Just talking. And Lex going to ask some questions. Like he went up there and sat with the young, what was it, the black journalist group or something he sat with? You know how much guts it take to go sit up there? I would like to see Kamala Harris run through all these same platforms. Not just the liberal ones. Go ahead, get on some of the conservative platforms. Let's chat it up, answer questions. Go ahead, bust a live stream with Boo. Tell Kamala Harris, and I'm not saying I'm a conservative platform, but I got to ask some questions. Bring up some shit a motherfucker might not feel like. I oh, don't know, man. See, I don't, get, I don't really make no money off this shit. So I'm poor. You be getting the goods. What if they hit? What if they like, yeah, Kamala going to come up, man, and we going to shoot you 50000 to blow your whole platform up. But here go the questions you can ask her. Some of y'all might be like, boo, take that 50, boo. Take it. I ain't gonna tell you whether I take it or not. Give up a lot. One of the great things about people from the business world is they're often great deal makers. And you're a great deal maker. And you've talked about the war in Ukraine and that you would be able to find a deal that both Putin mm -hmm. and Zelensky would accept. What do you think that deal looks like? I think the deal, and I wouldn't talk about it too much because I think I can make a deal if. If I win as president elect, I'll have a deal made. <laughs> Guaranteed. Yo, look. Yo, yeah, elect me president. I'm a yo, bro, look. Look, Biden is the worst president in the history of our country. And she's probably worse than him. That's a, that's something that should have never happened. But it did happen. Hey yo. Yeah. Like yo, what's the deal? Like you think you can stop what's going on in you Ukraine and Russia Trump like yeah, I got some. I can't say nothing about it, basically, though. I can't put it out there. Yo, you know, I just, if they win, I don't want them to enact it and make it happen. Like, So, like, I mean, somebody is going to say, so is Trump saying that he if he don't win, he don't give a fuck? If the war stop over there, fuck them people. Only way we going to get that stop is if I'm president. Only way World War Three could stop is if y'all just put me in there. Do I believe Trump? No. But I understand what he's trying to do. I understand that for the people that may be leaning a little bit, like that might make that might scare somebody to make them go in that direction. For the people that who I don't know, but it's an angle there, and all politicians just use their angles. And now it's a much tougher deal to make than it would have been before it started. Millions of people. I think the number's going to be a lot higher when you see this all at some point to iron out. I think the numbers are going to be, the death numbers are going to be a lot higher than people think. When you take a look at the destruction and the buildings 
coming down all over the place in Ukraine. I think those numbers are going to be a lot higher. They they lie about the numbers. They try and keep them low. They knock down a building that's two blocks long. No, I'm tired building. of days, and too. I don't know about y'all. They say uh, one person was mildly injured. No, no. A lot of people were killed. And those, there are people in those buildings, and they have no Grandma chance Lane, once they up? start coming down. There's no chance. So, Let me put this so, in the joint. Um, that's a war that absolutely has to get done. And Hit the link, have, pop in on Israel, Twitter so you can see the video and everything. You can see all the reactions. The, the world is, is a rough place right now. And a lot of it's because of the fact that America has no leadership. And I believe that she'll be probably worse than Biden. I watched the interview the other night. I mean, it was just a softball interview. So you would like to see her do more interviews, challenge more? I don't know. I, I I can't believe the whole thing is happening. We had a man in there that should have never been in there. They kept him in a basement. They used COVID. They cheated, but they used COVID to cheat. They, they cheated without COVID, too. Hey, yo. But uh, you had somebody in there, and now we... I think that's wild, though. I think it, it got to be a better way to do the voting shit. It got like it got to be a way where nobody can say people cheated. Um, I'm not sure if Trump is correct about that, but I think that... He could stand up without saying shit. It's some shit that you gotta, but like it's it's and that's the way I, I, politics is. Like you just gotta. That's how he won before. You just gotta say wild shit, do wild. Like it just gotta be like the whole thing. I have to be like revamped. Like like we need like a whole new like. It's just simply put, we, we need a new way to do things like when it comes to politics. If not, it just it just got to go like this. Because like, knowing how humans be, man, like, it ain't too many people that I think is really good, that really like it. I don't think a lot of people who might be great for that job is willing to try to do the job. It's, just, it's really kind of fucked up right now. We have a woman that is not, I mean, she couldn't do an interview. This was a really soft interview. This is an interview where they're given a multiple choice uh, questions, multiple, multiple guests. I call it multiple guests. I give it, yo. And uh, I don't think she did well. I think she did very poorly. How do you think you'll do in the debate coming up? Holy in fuck. A few days? So I've done a lot of debating, only as a politician. I never debated. My first debate was the uh, Rosie O'Donnell debate, right? The famous Rosie O'Donnell debate, the answer. Uh, but I've done well with debates. I mean, I became mm -hmm. president. Then the second time, I got millions more votes than I got the first time. I was told... He willing to go. So, like, to me, that means something. Like, it's a dirty, nasty, stinking mud fight. Get out there in them streets, Kamala. I don't want to see no rappers... No singers, no, none of the hip hop and none of the hip hop elite. We don't need none of that. I know it's not everybody, but I hope motherfuckers don't just go along with a motherfucker because they your favorite celebrity. Because they, because they made, they, you like the songs they made. That You got to be a wild, outrageous, ridiculous human. Oh, I like her songs. I like his songs. I would go, are you fucking stupid? Nah, get out there. Do what you got to do. Answer them questions. Go everywhere. Talk to the people. Stand on all the bullshit. Fight through it. It seems to me that that's what the fuck Trump doing. If I got 63 million, which is what I got the first time, you 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 would win. You can't not win. And I got millions of more votes than that and uh, lost by a whisker. But And look what happened to the world with all of the wars and all of the Look what happened to the world. Look what happened with Incorrect. inflation because inflation's just eating up our country. Now, I might not be I don't, I'm not encouraging niggas to vote for Trump. I'm, I'm not encouraging niggas to vote for Kamala. Some people might be like, oh, you bugger, you probably be with Kamala. But 
I think Trump was Trump was 100% wrong. Like, oh, yo, when I was the president, the world was better. But, you know, as soon as I ain't the president, it's war. War is always going. Every president got some shit going on, whether Democrat or Republican. But don't every motherfucker running for president talk like, hey, I'm about to fix all this shit because the world would be better if I... So if you the kind of motherfucker that want to argue that, you you contradicting yourself. You ain't authentic. You we shouldn't listen to you. I like people that can see the whole. I, I don't need you to have one eye. I don't need your eyes to be like. And, and I don't need you to have binoculars just stuck on your face. I need you to have like a wide view. I need you to be like have sound judgment and sound thinking, like to think more broadly. For me to listen. Ain't no difference in none of these motherfuckers. And if you're watching on YouTube at this point, you see this clip. Hey. Subscribe. Do all that shit you pulled to do. But hear this. There will be comments in the video of people like, oh, you know, you ain't, but they're not getting to this part. Oh, y'all niggas watched seven minutes. Y'all watched eight minutes of that video, huh? You need the whole entire video to be bashing one person or the other. We might get more views if we did that. We might catapult a little higher faster if we did that. I just don't know how to do that. I don't think I ever will. We got to call a spade a spade, gang. Sorry. Eating it up, so it's too bad. But um, there are a lot of things that could happen. We have to get those wars settled. We have to get, I'll tell you, you have to get Ukraine done. You, that could end up in a third world war. So could the Middle East. So could the Middle East. So maybe let's talk about what it takes to negotiate with somebody like Putin or, or Zelensky. Do you think Putin would be willing to give up any of the regions they already captured? I don't know. Uh, I can tell you that this, all of this would have never happened, and it would have been very easy because you don't have, like, that question wouldn't be asked. You know, that's a tougher question. Yo, yeah, if I was Once president, that, this would happen. Yeah, keep you honest Because he has taken over a lot of territory. Now, I guess they're insurgents now, too, right? So, you know, it's a little bit interesting uh, that that's happening and that it can happen. But. And it's interesting that Putin has uh, allowed that to happen. Look, that's one that should have should have never started. We have to get it stopped. Ukraine is being demolished. They're they're destroying Ooh, the Greek culture true. that's largely destroyed. What do you think works better in those kinds of negotiations? Leverage of let's say friendship, the carrot or the stick? Friendship or the carrot of the threat stick. of using the economic and military power. So it depends on who the person is. So Which I think is true. Everyone's different. Everybody, I don't the think Putin. I don't think Putin might care. It depends on who the person is. And then you have to guess or know through certain knowledge, which is you know more important: the carrot or the stick. And with some people, it's the stick, and with some people, it's the carrot. Uh, I think the the stick probably is generally more successful in that, you know, we're talking about war. But uh, the kind of destruction that we're witnessing now, nobody's ever seen. I mean, it's it's a terrible thing. And and we're witnessing it all over. We're witnessing it in um, in all parts of the My world. My bad, gang. A lot of things are going that to get started. Look what's going on with China. Look at Japan. They're starting to rearm now. They're starting to... Dude, I, listen... He cause accident if I ball for that. Pardon me.
My bad, my bad. Yeah, gang. You know what's crazy? Hold on. You know we're going to have more Trump coming up, right? 